Episode 4 of HBO's The Last of Us just came out. This one was titled, Please Hold My Hand. Uh, this is kind of just not really a filler episode, I would say, but definitely mainly focused on um, building that relationship between Joel and Ellie without accomplishing a ton when it comes to just you know the actual plot, like us moving forward with the story. And I think it's really important to do that because... I, it's really what makes the story of The Last of Us so uh, impactful, right? That that relationship, seeing them grow, it needs to feel organic and earned because we definitely understand why Joel doesn't like Ellie at the beginning of the show, right? Because of the hurt that he's experienced and how much she reminds him of his daughter who died. Um, and so it really has to be something where we see those little bits of, you know, that stone heart break away. Uh, just a tiny bit at a time and we get a ton of that in this episode it's nice to see him you know kind of smile at her jokes and really just you know break down and laugh um, at the end of the episode and it's just you know a ton of really good development there um, our leads are continuing to be fantastic Pedro Pascal is I don't know just crazy versatile uh, like over the last couple of years he's just like so good and it's nothing new to say everybody's saying it right the guy's good all right and i just shouldn't be surprised uh, by that anymore bella ramsey is really bringing it to i think in this episode she had a lot um you know to accomplish like the part of ellie i think that we kind of like taken for granted at how like hard of a part it is and how good she is doing right um teenage girls get represented so poorly in <laughs> material that isn't really aimed at them, like if it's something that's aimed towards adults or anything, it's really easy for them to be represented in a way where like they're annoying or you know anything like that. But but they do a really good job of letting her just be a character uh, that has depth, has you know different motivations. I mean, we have the first time really where she is at a loss for words and doesn't want to talk about a subject, and it really kind of catches Joel off guard near the end of the episode too. And so, just really, really really impressed with the, the both of them and just their chemistry is pretty undeniable and love his reactions to the jokes and her reactions to him knowing the answers of the jokes without him having read the book because that's totally what really happens my kids will be reading a joke book in the back of the car uh, and i'll know the answer without having looked at the book because it's just what the dad joke would be right and you know they are always surprised uh, by that now, when it comes to the actual plot development, you know, Joel and Ellie, they're rolling into Kansas City, which is a different city than they roll into in the game. This is, again, just some small changes that are happening. Um, and if you watch the, like, you know, the making of stuff after the episode, you know, Neil Druckmann really kind of digs into that, just putting a face to it, giving these, uh, you know, enemies, just, just obstacles in the game, actual character. And it's something I really appreciate because it's not something that you would have the opportunity to do in a movie, but they're really taking the medium of a TV show and that extra time to kind of build in these new characters and just give the whole world just a feeling that it's alive, right? It's not that only what Joel and Ellie are doing is happening. There's like just countless stories going on around them as well. And it really just kind of fleshes everything out in a way that makes it just feel so much more alive and so much more, you know, kind of scary too, because you realize that it's, we only think that Joel and Ellie are the main characters because they're the ones we've been following, right? But there's so many other stories going on where there are these other main characters that Joel and Ellie show up and they just end the end the stories. Um, so I, I really am, am liking that. I think Kathleen, we'll see how I feel uh, about her moving forward. Obviously, she's you know, leading everybody. It's cool that, uh, you know, Perry, uh, the, the military dude who's teamed up with her, he's the guy who was Tommy in the game. And so that's really cool that you know we're getting to see those actors who portrayed those roles you know be peppered in and we know that there's some other big ones coming up uh, later in the in the show but going back to Kathleen she's she's ruthless right in her, in her actions but I don't know she's kind of almost coming across as I don't know I need to see her do a little bit more I feel to feel to understand why everyone's following her the way that they were like I understand why people would will rise up against you know Fedra and everything but why Kathleen? I I would really hope that we kind of get to see a little bit more of that. And maybe even with some flashbacks moving into the next episode, you know, with Henry and Sam, big part of the game, just getting a, a little tiny, like just little cameo at the very, very end of this episode. I'm, I'm glad they didn't try to like squeeze it in. I was curious how they were going to do that. As I saw, you know, this is a, a shorter episode, especially compared to the last one, almost a half an hour shorter. And so, you know, not a ton, again, that happens in it story-wise, but they do a great 
amount of character work in this one. And we got that mystery, what's going on with the ground uh, moving and everything. Really looking forward to that that next week's episode because it feels like it's going to be a pretty big one. So that 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 coming next week uh, preview was definitely getting me pretty pretty hyped for for next week so yeah what did you think about this episode of the last of us um where would you put it in your ranking it's weird to say that i think this might be like the lowest when it comes to just ranking the episodes but that's just saying like how good all of the other episodes were um nothing wrong here at all but i mean just speaks to the strength of the show so uh, thanks for stopping by and we'll talk to you next time